so many people use CPAP machines these days for sleep apnea. Uh, Dana asks, uh, my husband uses a CPAP and needs to be plugged in about two feet away from his head all night. What could we do to minimize that? We would need a, a very large battery uh, if the CPAP were to be plugged into something, you know, like a battery source instead of the wall. So I don't even know if that's possible, if it draws too much power. But what have you seen for CPAP? I know distance is key, uh, but you kind of have a mask. So you're kind of stuck, you know, having the machine near you, but not too close to your body. Uh, how how have you seen this in uh, actual uh, client survey uh, impact their EMF exposure? Yeah, well, surprisingly, there's there's a lot of models that don't have that much impact on the EMF exposure for the person, like where they're actually laying. Um, in those scenarios, you know, but there are a few that that do have can be significant. Um, but the, the basics of what you need to be doing is get as long of a hose as possible and then put the, you know, extend it out so that the motor that's pumping the air is as far away as possible. Yeah. Uh, and then also if I think most of them are actually running on DC and they have a transformer, like a little, bl a little black block with the plug in it or. Or, or sometimes they'll have like a, a rectangle block where one end goes this way and the other end goes to the outlet and this end goes to plug into the machine. Each, like like the rectangle blocks or the solid blocks that you plug directly into the wall, both of those are transformers. So they're transforming the electrical energy from AC to DC and then they're sending DC on that cable and it's running like a DC motor to pump the air. And so... Um, those aren't as problematic as something that's a straight plug-in that goes directly into a unit. And I don't think they even make them that way. But if they if there is one that, that's just a straight two-prong or three-prong and goes direct into the, um, the CPAP unit without any block or anything, then uh, you're going to have AC current and voltage coming off of that, um, that motor um, and it's going to be a significant impact on the area. Cause so you'd need a, like one of those grounded barriers. You can, if you have a grounding mat, sometimes I'll, if I'll be looking around the room during an assessment and, uh, they'll have a grounding mat that they're not, I was like, do you have any grounding mats that you're not using? You can put that and just drape it over the unit and it helps to like kind of suck away some of those electric fields Yeah, and, and you really need a meter to test when when you have a situation like that so okay so yeah test the voltage and the yeah. magnetic that's where you know an emf survey comes in handy if uh, you want to look at multiple types of exposure not just the cpap machine but also you know the lamps and everything else but it's a good question regardless i know it's going to help a lot of people so uh in short what i take from your answer is just get a, a long hose and try to get the unit as far away from the body as possible because of that large magnetic field because it's it's a powerful unit, a powerful motor inside. Hey, this is Nick, the EMF guy. You know, I am the co-creator of the EMF Circle along with my colleague, Brian Hoyer from Shielded Healing. What you saw today, this short video, is a preview of the longer interview that we did for our Circle members. Every month, we have a masterclass like one of these or a Q&A session with me and Brian most of the time. So you get personal support and attention on your EMF reduction journey. So if you want to reduce EMF because you are personally sensitive or you're just trying to take precautionary measures to better your health and minimize the risk associated with wireless and other types of EMFs, then the EMF circle is the place to be. We have a ton of archives now. We have several months worth of Q&As that you can listen back to. Everything is pre -record is recorded. You can either join live or just listen to the replay. So we have a cars masterclass. We have a pr free protection masterclass uh, uh, also that we did. And we're going to have several other masterclasses moving forward. So we hope that you join us inside the EMF circle. Just visit EMF circle.com or click the link under the video to join us. I hope to see you there.